Hello everybody. Here I have a summary of what I'm gonna be covering in the tutorial today. As you can see here, we can use this annotate tool to make sketches and notes in our projects. And up here, I have a table of the functions and menus that we're gonna need today. In order to use this annotate tool, we gotta be able to navigate the 3D viewport. So I introduce these icons to change the views and zoom in and out and pan around. Another important tool that we're gonna need is a 3D cursor, which I cover in the last video of the series. I highlighted the functions that we're gonna reuse. So if I go through them too fast, you can go back to this video and find out how to use them. Okay, let's get started. I got my project here. This whole window is a 3D viewport. Let me switch to edit mode so we can see more clearly. And now I go to my annotate tool. For my first drawing, I'm going to trace the door like so. Now I'm going to take a closer look, see how well it was traced. This time I'm going to use these tools on the top right hand corner, this little hand, this zoom in function, and these color axis. So this this hand moves the view. Or you do that you left click and while you're holding down you move the mouse so you can see it moves the view. You can do top bottom left right. Next one same function left click hold it and move it up to zoom in and move it back to zoom out. And now you can rotate the view with this axis icon. You can click, hold it, and rotate it. And we can see here that my trace was not well done. That's because I was using this view when I traced it. And if we zoom in, we can see that the plane that was used as reference is defined by the cursor, this plane. Like if we inspect this line, we can see now that the cursor is also used as reference. It's really close to the floor level. In order to fix that, I'm going to have to move my cursor to the front. To that corner there and I also have to change my view so I'm facing the front of the house so I can use this face as my plane of reference but first I need to delete all my scribbles there's an eraser option for this tool in order to pull all the options we go select the tool and hold down the left mouse button and we go to the eraser at the bottom now I can erase all my lines. Now to move my cursor, I use my select tool, vertex select, I select it, cursor menu, and cursor to active. Now here, I want to introduce another menu so I can have the view move to the front of the house. The hot key is the tilde key, the one to the left, of the number one key in the keyboard. So click on that and then I select front or press the number seven key. Okay, that's the front view, but that's not what I've been using as the front of the house. The front of the house is actually the right side view. Let me verify that. Again, I use the tilde key for my view menu, and this time I hit 6 for the right side. And there's my front. Okay, I need to rotate it to the left, or minus 90 degrees. In order to do that, I switch to object mode, 
then I hit R and this rotation is not gonna work I changed my object origin to this corner in the last video I need to bring it back to the center in order to do that I go to object set origin and origin to center of mass using the surface area now I can rotate it about the origin I hit R then Z to rotate it about the vertical axis and minus 90 degrees I, hit, I type in minus 90 now back to my view menu hit the tilde key and press 7 from the front view and there it is I got the right front view you can see down here that the 3D cursor didn't move it's not attached to the object but it doesn't matter in this case because it's still in the same plane on the front face of the house now I can go back to my annotate tool and trace the front door frame and I can also draw a window if I want okay let's see how it turned out and I rotate the view it's all good all the annotations are in the front face of the house on that plane which is what I wanted for the next video I will continue working with this annotate tool because there's so much you can do thank you for watching